Whether you work in the field or indoors, in a truck or a cubicle, you are a piece of this massive puzzle vital to the state of Ohio. It's so important to know about and take pride in your organization. I hope you feel the same way. It's also important to be aware of how well your organization is performing. And to make that easier, leadership monitors ODOT's performance on a regular basis. Hopefully you've at least heard the term critical success factor, or CSF. If you break it down word for word, you can probably figure out what the intent is. Critical or important. Success or achievement. Factor or a thing. So, a CSF is a thing that's important for ODOT to achieve. Something that's so important that if we aren't achieving it, or at least trying to, we're not doing our job. Director Ray and ODOT leadership began developing CSFs four years ago and have been perfecting them ever since. They've established four factors that are ODOT's main concerns. People, system conditions, safety, and capital program. Within those four categories, there are specific things we can measure as indicators of how we're doing. Here's the point in the annual meeting when, with help from many of your fellow ODOTers, we tell you what those CSFs are and a little bit about the goals we're trying to meet, like if it's a percentage or number, or if we're aiming for a high or low result. Here we go. People refers to the people who work for ODOT, as well as the people of Ohio who do business with ODOT. The first people factor we measure is called the work-life index. The results of the quality of work-life survey determine our score each year. The higher people rate their work-life at ODOT, the higher the score ODOT gets. Please continue to participate in the survey each year so you can directly impact the work-life index score. The workforce injuries and crashes metric gauges just that. How often our employees are getting hurt or having accidents in their ODOT vehicles? The safety of our people is of the utmost importance. So the lower the numbers of both metrics, the better we're doing as an agency. The next metric ODOT monitors in the people category is the direct labor ratio. In a nutshell, this metric tracks the percentage of time ODOT employees are working on core business functions while on the clock. The more productive we are, the better, so we would like to see the percentage as high as possible every quarter. In addition to measuring our performance when it comes to our own employees, ODOT sets goals in regards to the business we do with outside companies. The disadvantaged business enterprises and edge metrics keep track of the percentage of project contracts were given to DBEs as well as firms that are certified in encouraging diversity, growth, and equity. We also measure how much of our everyday purchasing of materials and supplies is going to minority business enterprises. It's important that we give everyone a fair chance at ODOT's business. So the more we can offer small companies, the better. In that sense, for our metrics, we strive for higher percentages. The next critical success factor is system conditions, which is just another way of referring to how well ODOT's roads are holding up. Within this category, you'll see performance measurements on our bridges and pavements, as well as how well we're maintaining the roads during both normal times and while experiencing snow and ice. Bridges are inspected regularly and receive ratings based on their overall physical conditions. The higher the rating, the better the bridge. So we want to see this number as high as possible each quarter. Pavements are also important to keep in good condition. So visual inspections are performed on a regular basis to monitor potholes, cracking, and other distresses. From there, sections of pavement are given ratings. Much like the bridge metrics, the better the condition, the higher the rating we get. Routine road maintenance performed by our highway technicians is monitored as well, specifically the inspections of barriers, pavement conditions, traffic control devices, and also pavement markings. Our goal is to lower the number of deficiencies found and recorded in regards to this metric. The next measurement is known as the Travel Time Reliability Index, or TTRI. Basically, it measures the percentage of time that drivers on Ohio's freeways are able to travel at the speed limit. Since we want traffic to move freely, we're looking for a higher percentage with this metric. 
During the winter months, we measure how well our maintenance crews are performing during snow and ice events. For the snow and ice control metric, ODOT measures exactly how many routes are not back up to normal speeds two hours after a storm ends. We obviously want all the routes back up and running normally, so the closer this metric is to zero, the better. We're done introducing both the people metrics and the system conditions metrics. On to the next CSF, which is a simple yet significant one, safety. As part of the safety CSF, ODOT measures just three numbers, the total fatalities, serious injuries, and crashes that occur on ODOT roads each year. Clearly, the least number of these incidents, the better we're performing on the engineering, construction, and maintenance of our roads. We're aiming for low numbers with these metrics. The final critical success factor for our department is the capital program which simply refers to the money ODOT has and how we're using it for projects around Ohio. The contract program metric tracks the dollar amount of construction projects we've sold throughout the year. We'll meet our goal if we sell as much as we originally planned at the beginning of the year. So the higher the dollar amount, the better. More specifically, both ODOT and local projects awarded on time metrics make sure we're selling projects as close as possible to the dates we planned in other words, ODOT is not only trying to sell a certain dollar amount of projects, but we're also trying to do it in a timely manner. In regards to both state and local systems, the projects awarded on time metrics track the projects that will be awarded to contractors within 30 days of the original goal. So we're looking for a high percentage each quarter. Lastly, the capital program CSF includes a metric called preventable change orders. Once a contract for a construction project is underway, any changes that have to be made will cost ODOT more money. We obviously do not want to spend more than we plan, so we track the total change order cost and compare it to the original contract amount, arriving at a percentage. The lower the percentage, the better. There you have it. Each critical success factor and its metrics. Based on your specific job, some CSFs will apply to you more directly than others. Many of you probably also have goals and measurements more specific to your job that you track regularly but aren't found on the list of CSFs, and these goals are important too. But hearing ODOT's successes and room for improvement through these main CSFs will ultimately help you get a better sense of where we are as a department.